So today I'm going to show you three ankle exercises that are going to really help your ankle mobility and stability. Often what we find is that people have issues with their ankles and their feet that actually end up causing pain higher up in the chain. So pain in the knees, hips, often even up into the shoulder and neck. So this is something that a lot of people will benefit from. Simon is going to be my model today and the first exercise we are going to do is called a plie walk so this comes from a uh, dance so some people may have experienced this before um, it's going to put a lot of pressure onto the feet and awareness to the movement of the foot um, so we're going to think about squeezing the butt and tucking it underneath very good and engaging those lower abdominals and then we're thinking imagine you've got this imaginary um, piece of wood all the way down your spine, keeping you perfectly straight. So this torso is going to stay completely straight and we're going to bend the knees to move down as far as your ankles will allow. Simon's actually got very good mobility. Not everyone can get this low, but you'll notice the torso is completely straight. From here, we're going to think about keeping the hips perfectly straight as we shift our weight across onto one foot and then we're going to work our way up through all the movement that is possible with our toe into a point and then completely shift the weight onto your other foot and then back through into your flexion again and then you'll shift sides as you can see moving side to side like a walk and rest. Now, some of the ways that this can go wrong. Uh, so we've got probably three faults that we see quite commonly. Is uh, torso bending forward. So when we bend down, instead of just the knees moving, we're going, this is a bend forward. So this we really want to avoid happening. We're going to sit up perfectly straight torso and just that movement through the knees and the ankles. Beautiful. Now the second fault we see very often is not using all the movement that is possible for the foot. So as that we get into that bottom position, rather than working through the foot, the this is the right way, yeah? we just okay so this we want to avoid we're really trying to find what is that full capability of our foot movement good now our third fault uh, we'll just shift to the front so you can see now we're trying to imagine you've got your hips here we're going to imagine that they stay perfectly straight forwards so what we want to think of even when we're shifting our weight is that we keep that really nice straight centered position very nice and then on the second side simon's going to show us when it goes wrong Okay, and you can see as the side shifts and he tilts off center. So we're really focusing here on it going to where you can control the movement. And then over time, trying to increase how big we can make it. So this is a deep knee bend exercise. This is going to challenge our stability and control in the ankle. And it's going to force us to work a little bit on our whole body balance. So like uh, the plie walk we're going to think about our torso engaging and our butt tucking underneath and having a very straight spine nice and tall keeping that head proud now we're going to come up into releve so up onto your toes as high as possible that you can maintain control you'll keep your arms in front of you for a counterbalance from there we're going to bend straight down just using your knees and hips and the torso staying perfectly straight upright you get to the deepest position you can control and then rise back up very good can you do it a second time simon's being a great model and relax 
So some of the ways that this often goes wrong is not keeping the torso upright. So um, a way to avoid that is to have that counterbalance of the hands, but um, demo for us, Simon, it when it's wrong. So you can see he loses the torso and this stops becoming about your knees and ankles and starts becoming about your back. It doesn't mean that it's not something you can do if you choose to, but it's not how we want to try this particular exercise for this purpose of improving your ankle mobility and control. The second way that this goes wrong, uh, if we can shift this way a little. So if you come up into the correct position, you'll notice we're going to keep the ankles straight. When this goes wrong, often the ankles will roll out as someone shifts down. Okay, what we want to try to do is avoid that. We want to try to keep nice and straight and make sure that we're tracking directly over and working on that forward flexion of the ankle without that um, external or internal movement of the ankle. So three point ankle flexion is looking at all the angles that our ankle can move. Uh, often when we're training ankle mobility, people are only thinking of forward flexion of the ankle, but it's actually designed to move all the way around, well, all the way around, not all the way to the back, but um, in a, quite a few different ranges of motion. And we want to think about bulletproofing our ankles so we're less likely to hurt ourselves uh, in those other end ranges. We're going to find ourselves a target. It can be something like this or a wall if you have a wall in your house, but we're going to find a space. You may need to move your foot back to see how far you can get your knee whilst your heel still stays on the floor. Now, once you've found that place, we're going to then work our internal position Noticing that the whole foot stays planted on the floor, your little toe, your big toe, and your heel. Then you're gonna come into the center and to the outside. What often people will find is that one of these angles will be harder than the other, and often one ankle is harder than the other. So this also is a really nice way to be able to measure that because you'll be able to see very clearly that the distance your foot is from the target is different one leg to the other. The thing we want to think really avoid here is the foot um, moving to compensate where you don't actually have range of motion for the ankle. So um, show me Simon when this goes wrong. So if you were to shift forward um, to the outside can see when this goes wrong, this foot will come up. This is a range that he doesn't have. So we want to really focus on keeping the big toe, little toe and heel planted. And then we're going to work on that range whilst maintaining that foot fully in contact with the floor. Good. 